Hi friends, today's topic of discussion is single acting reciprocating air compressor. This is piston compressor in which there are following parts. Cylinder, piston and piston rod, crank, crankcase, two walls, suction and delivery, inlet and outlet ports. Regarding the construction, single acting reciprocating air compressor uses four bar mechanism that is cylinder, piston, piston rod, crank. There are two walls which are spring operated. The cylinder is having fins from outside to increase the surface area so that it will dissipate the heat and will be cooled faster. The crank is driven by the electric motor or engine or turbine. Now regarding the working, the piston reciprocates in the cylinder. This is the suction stroke and this is the delivery stroke. In suction stroke, the piston is at the bottom dead center. Due to the downward movement of the piston, vacuum is created in the cylinder. Suction valve opens and delivery valve is closed. Due to the downward motion of the piston, vacuum is created in the cylinder and air is sucked in. The cylinder is now full of atmospheric pressure air. This was suction stroke. Now in the delivery stroke, the piston starts moving up. During this movement, the suction valve is closed and delivery valve is also closed. The air gets compressed and the delivery valve opens. The compressed air moves out of the delivery port and goes to the air receiver. In this compressor, compression of air takes place on the one side of the piston only. Important in this compressor, air supply to the receiver is pulsating because compressed air deliver only in the delivery stroke. Okay. Hence, this type of compressor is having limited application, but it is widely used in two-stage or three-stage or multi-stage reciprocating air compressors. So, this was single acting reciprocating compressor. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.